story time, story time, story time. You have been loved, loved and hugged by Boss Lady the Slay LLC. I don't even say my slogan anymore, y'all. <laughs> I'm about to start back saying it, y'all. I'm getting back in union. I done had the baby. I done got my, my schedule set. You know, I got the babies in bed at this time. They still sleep at this time. I can record. You know, I'm getting everything in order. I mean, more videos for y'all. Happy vibes. That Pablo Santo does it every time. Okay. Story time, story time. This is a story time about when... Okay. Y'all look. Mm. Yeah, I know I got to have my morning tea. But, um, basically, somebody asked me, um... Why you don't like to really socialize unless it's business? So when people write me, randomly write me, I normally don't respond. And if I do respond, I'd be like, you know, what you want, what it is, what it ain't. Like, I'm dead on my energy. is like, what the fuck you want type of energy. And a lot of people ask me, like, you know, you don't, you're, you're not willing to, you know, make new friends and this and that unless it's business-wise and stuff like that. Well, I'm here to tell you. I done been through some shit. So I know when the energy and a lot of people be like, oh well you be on point about energy. You know, cause a lot of times I be into, you know, communicating with people, everything be good, everything be good. It don't be the person I'm communicating with because I have awesome judgment. It be the people around them that I do not agree with. These people be all type of fucked up. You get what I'm saying? All type of fucked up. Okay? So I uh, take my energy from that person and they be like well dang you know we was vibing we was cool like I really like you like why you don't be why you're not my friend I thought I did something wrong and stuff like that baby it's not you it's not you it's not you it's the energy around you and you gotta understand if you don't tame that energy around you that energy around you will not become you you get what I'm saying no you have to really be careful who you hang with because it'll really fuck you up. If you hang around people that don't have no dreams, don't have no ambitions, you're going to be that exact person because that's who you around. But, you know, my energy is all high vibing now, but I'm going to give y'all a story from back in the day when my judgment was not so good. Okay? And this is why I am the person I am today. Like, I be on point. Like, I don't play when it comes to these type of energies. Y'all ready for this? Boop, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I had to go take care of the babies. So, oh, before we get into this, like and subscribe. And y'all, check out my store. You have the fancy Jasper. You have the ultimate healing bracelet. And you have another type of Jasper. I forgot the name. But start with a B, y'all. Go check me out. Okay. So, anyways, I was dating this dude, y'all. He had bad, bad, fucked up ass energy, but... He was a smooth ass talker. I was like 18, 19. It was a smooth talker. Like, he can talk you out your draws. He was so smooth with it. So, I knew he wasn't good. You know, he wasn't a good person, but that talk guy had me. Listen, I was naive back then. That talk guy had me like, okay, whatever you say, it is what it is, you know? But, I was in a messed up predicament. Um,. I, it wasn't nobody's fault. It was me. Actually, it was. I was sheltered most of my life um, by being in the church and have people that are church going. I was sheltered from the world. So, I wasn't prepared for the world even when the world was ready for me. You get what I'm saying? But I decided to step out in the world because I realized a lot of stuff they was lying about, a lot of stuff they wasn't telling me. Like, I'm 18 years old and I, ain't know, I, know, I didn't know my social security number. Didn't know I had a social security card. Like, I was that, that shit took from the world. Like, you know, my people had in my mind and, you know, they they installed within me what they wanted me to know, which are good Christian-ass values. I'm an awesome, awesome person because of my upbringing. But then again, I, I lacked a lot of street knowledge. And... I didn't know how to really pick up on personalities and energies and, enti and entities and stuff like that because I was so sheltered from the world. So, I broke out into the world on my own. 17, 18, flu. I'm out here in the world on my own. I'm learning things. I'm learning how the street is. And I'm learning people really ain't shit. 
but it was needed for me to learn because you can't shelter a person and only let them see the good, the good, the good. When they run into bad, they are not going to know how to deal with the situation because all they see is good-hearted people. So they need to see evil people so they can know, you know, watch out for this, watch out for that. They can know, you know, how to remove it in life. You know, you got to properly prepare your child for life. I was not prepared for shit. I was babied, babified my whole life. I swear I was. I was babified. I wasn't ready for nothing. So I finally stepped in the world myself because they wasn't going to tell me, you know, they was trying to shelter me and they felt like that was right in their eyes. But in my eyes, I need to know what it is. So, yeah, I stepped out here in these streets. Got into a predicament where um, I was hanging with a girl. Her brother was a drug dealer and um, me and her brother wasn't talking like we wasn't in no sexual relationship. But he was basically teaching me, you know, the streets was what. So I was... A dope girl. <laughs> you know, I was helping him sell his stuff. Whoop do whoop blaje blaje. You know, but um at the time you know I had a little boyfriend or whatever, but one particular day, y'all, I was chilling at one of his uh customers. Lick customers house. <laughs> I had been chilling over there for a couple of days or whatever, just leaning low off the block that he normally uh do off the area he normally do business on so we was just chilling at this one particular uh spot one of the customer spots or whatever and um i decided that well actually the dude i was talking to he was just like you know i want to see you blah squad i'm like okay cool you can come over here my head this address this house boo, 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 blah just squad just boom so he come see me or whatever and me and the dude was talking and um he seen me doing what I was doing or whatever. He was just like, dang, you know, you ain't got no type of protection. How you going to be doing this? And ain't nobody here to protect you. Woo, 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 blah, jay, blah, jay. So I went to the closet and I was just like, I unraveled the, the uh, sheet. And I'm just like, boom, like, I'm protected, period. Covered it back up. Like, what, please? I'm protected. You know, if it comes down to me or somebody else, I'm going to choose me regardless. So it is what it is. You know? I was taught how to shoot it because the person who left it there taught me how to use it. So I knew how to use it. So, you know, everything was good. And if I had to, I was going to, you know, because like I said, it's either me or it's you. And I want my life. I value my life. You didn't value yours because you can't mess it with me. So it is what it is. It's fair game. Because ain't nobody tell you to be doing this old dumb behind shit. So you're going to get what you're going to get. That's it. That's all. So anyways... So he was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, cool. So I left to go check on the customer. The customer uh, ate candy. Okay? So he was kind of like bugging out all the time. So I went to go check on him because he was having one of his little spazzes. And I'm just like, you know, what's wrong? So I went to go check on him, calm him down and stuff, whatever. And um, dude, I'll, and y'all, once again, I was not properly prepared for the streets. This boy, before I can even make it back to the other side of the house where the room was, he met me halfway. Like in the hallway, like, and he just like, oh, my homeboy just called me. Oh, I got to go woo the woo or whatever. And I'm just like, hmm. Because I seen how he was kind of like fidgeting and he was moving fast. Like, he started talking to me, telling me how he got to go do whatever, you know, he got to do. And he still walking past me to go out the door. Like, he just, and then just kept walking, talking. And I'm just like. Mm, that's strange you know you kind of like gibbered it like mm. but I was like okay stupid very naive very stupid I'm just like okay yeah I'll talk to you later this boy leave this not listen this boy leave now nah. I ain't paying no attention I went to sleep y'all slept real good wake up the next morning my homegirl come and I wake up to her hitting me like I'm asleep this girl wake me up hitting me and shit so I'm like what so I'm, I'm, I wake up and I'm you know me and the girl fighting so he actually break us up and he was just like he was like you know I like you you know you a cool girl you know you know I'm teaching you what I know so you can survive on the streets he was like but just tell me the truth you know where the blank at I'm like what I'm like, what you talking about is up there, you know, in the closet. So I go and I look. I ain't not wrapped up in this piece of cloth no more. And I'm like, oh, crap. I 
I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So I bust out crying. I was like, man. He was like, no, nah, don't cry. He was like, who got it? He was like, he was like, who got it? He was like, I know you had your little boyfriend over here. He got it. I was like, no, I'm just a crying. I'm just a crying because I know for a fact the dude I'm talking to, he a little punk behind street dude. He don't, he, man, listen, he a little thief. He a little petty little theft. That's, that's nothing compared to this man right here. This a grown man who out here living that life. So if I tell this man this little boy's name, he finna put a hit on his head. You know, he finna do some to him type of thing. So I'm just like, and I know for a fact because I done see with my own eyes. I done experienced this. I done seen him do some stuff. So I'm just like, oh my God. And I'm just crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. And he was like, you ain't gonna tell me to do nothing. You ain't gonna tell me where it's at. You ain't gonna tell me. I was like, I don't know. He was like, you ain't, you ain't taking it. You ain't hide it. I was like, why would I take it and hide it? I ain't never used it. I ain't got no purpose for it because if anything, I'm gonna run or I'm gonna fight. Like, I ain't really finna be dealing with nothing like that. It cost me my life. And if this right here gonna cost me my life, then man, I'm finna go home to my mama. Like, <laughs> I told her right there and then, like, I'm finna go home to my mama if this gonna cost me my life. Like, I'm just trying to survive and like, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to do all that. You hear me? So he was like, man, you gonna tell me, you gonna tell me. These folks had me locked up in the house for two, three days. Y'all, I swear to God, I done called the dude, I done told the dude what was going on, and he told my dang, that's messed up, man, that's messed up. Man, who could have took it? Fuck, nigga, you! <laughs> you took it like this man held that junk up for years. Oh, my, I'm finna finish telling y'all stories, but y'all, that junk really messed with me. Because he held that lot up for years that he didn't take it. He didn't take it. Like, man, why would I take it? Why would I take it? Like, he had done cussed me out, hung the phone up on me. And these folks really out here trying to do stuff to me. This man left me for dead, dog. But I'm protecting him because I won't give them his name. I'm like, what type of stuff this is? So, because I won't give them, you know, the dude name. Boop. They sent me off with a dude. And I didn't want to get in the car. And I knew it was something that wasn't right about the situation because the cousin was crying. The cousin was crying. She, I'm talking about she was in tears crying when the dude, it was a random dude I didn't know came, picked me up and just slummed me in the car or whatever. And it wasn't no talking one. And the dude pull up, pick, I'm talking about yanked me up, slammed me in the car or whatever. It was about two, three other girls in the car. I'm looking crazy like, what? And his cousin, like I said, me and her was friends. She was just crying. She was just crying, crying, crying. I'm like, I'm looking crazy. Like, what? So, I ain't know what to scream, yeah, holler, what? Man, I was trafficking. Traffic. Whatever you want to call it. Adopted. You feel me? And all of a sudden, like, me and the girls were sitting there. One of the girls was crying. And the other girl, she was like, you better stop crying. Like, so the dude had then hit the girl in the face and stuff. And I'm looking crazy. Like, y'all, like, what's going on? Like, so anyhow, I fall asleep. I wake up. I know goddamn well we not in Pensacola. Pensacola don't look like this. All these tall behind buildings and stuff. Man, we in Atlanta. Y'all, we in Atlanta, dog. Long story short, because I was loyal and I didn't want no harm to come to the dude, I basically suffered the consequences. These folks tried to trick me out. They tried to, but I ran. And I had been running ever since. Y'all, it took me every bit of like, six to like 10, 11 months, almost a year before I made it back to Pensacola, Florida. Okay? Y'all, I never told my people, my family, what really happened. All they know is I left and I was supposed to be talking to a dude, an older dude and this and that. Like they really don't know what happened. It's a lot of rumors, but nobody really know the truth. But Boom, here it is. So, I finally make it home by this time. You know, I'm like 20. And this happened, I, I should have been, well, I should have been. <laughs> I was like 18, about to turn 19. When I came back home, I was like 20. Okay, boom. 
Now, I meet back up with this dude later on in life. I'm like 25, 26. And I tell him, I said, you know, you stole that gun, right? He was like, man, that was a long time ago, man. Stop talking about that, man. That's old. That's old. Y'all, I swear to God, I wanted to bust him in his mouth. Because all these years, I told y'all I was like 18, 19. All these years, you lied and said you didn't take it. And a part of me knew you was lying, but a part of me believed you done behind, too. You know what I'm saying? You lied all these years. Boy, I done been through hell because you lied and I'm protecting you. I done went through hell. I done went through pure teeth hell. Not knowing why I'm finna sleep, why I'm finna eat. I'm talking about running. Like, I'm running from the law for a year. You hear me? I done went through hell. And this man tell me, that's old, man. Stop talking about this. Oh, that's old. Stop talking about that. But you know what? Karma's a bitch because that same... The same gatch he stole, he kind of charged for it. And he did time for it. So, don't nothing go unseen. But that was my story time, and that's why I'm the way I am. I don't trust people. I don't put nothing in past nobody. Not even my own mama. I don't care. I don't been in some messed up predicaments because I got a good heart and I want to help people. And, you know, I don't want no harm to come to people and I don't been messed up in between. So, what you see is what you get. I'm a bored out. And I, listen, I don't trust in nothing. You know what? I do trust it. I trust for you to do and be exactly who the fuck you portray yourself to be. If you lie to me one time, you a liar. If you steal from me one time, you a thief. I believe you to be that exact thing. So, anything else out of that right there, of course. Of course, I might not believe. But if somebody tell me, oh, this person be lying, and I know you done lied to me, you a liar. Somebody tell me, oh, this person stole, did it out from me, and then you done stole from me, I believe it. Because you're a thief. It is what it is. I believe you to be exactly what you is. So that's the backstory on why people say I'm so cold, but I'm not cold. I move with my intuition, and if something telling me something ain't right, if I feel that within, I hear the inner voice saying, ding, 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 something ain't right, run, I'm running, and I'm cutting everything else and off, and I don't care who it is, period, because it's me over everybody, okay? Yeah, I just told you I suffered a year because I was loyal to the wrong person, so don't hesitate when it comes to me. Don't never think I won't. <laughs> oh, well, no, I did this, but we still friends. Don't never think that because I'll cut you out like that. You better ask anybody who done came in contact with me since I done moved on and got grown. You better ask them. i cut you off in a split second. Don't think twice. First thing you do, I, I'm about to get out of my face. Go on, pack, pack up your little stuff. Go on about your business. First time. First. Not second, third. First. Period. Not having it. So that's why I am like I am. Nemesis.